This patient was referred to me approximately a year and a half ago. Let's call it a year and a half ago. As you can see right here. For endodontic treatment of tooth number 30. As you can see, she had a deep cavity, deep fill, and then tooth became necrotic. Symptoms, you can see a large periperical lucency right there, right? To a smaller degree right there too, but a large one associated with the mesial roots. Okay, so again, it was a year and a half ago. So uh, we discussed options with the patient. The patient decided that she wanted to try to save the tooth. So we proceeded with the root canal treatment in one appointment. So take a look. Never mind the cone cut here, but I want to show you the periperical lucency that was also associated with the distal root right there. And you can see the periperical lucency associated with the mesial root. Not as good as the first x-ray that I showed you, but this is immediately after we did the root canal. And again, we did this root canal in one appointment and look at the sealer extrusion. Will this cause endodontic failure? Will me doing the root canal in one appointment cause endodontic failure? In this angulation, this is again immediately after we did the root canal in one appointment. In this angulation, you can see the large periperical lucency associated with the mesial roots and the periperical lucency associated with the distal root. And here's the date, as you can see, it was 8 8 2022, so about a year and a half ago. All right. So, again, the question is will this root canal fail because I did the root canal in one appointment versus multiple appointments? Will this root canal fail because of sealer extrusions here and here? And this was just now, today. Patient came in for her post-op check and take a look. The large periperical lucency associated with the mesial roots is healed completely. The periperical lucency associated with the distal root healed completely. And here's the date. As you can see, it was today, a year and a half almost ago, when we did the root canal. So this is a year and a half post-op of tooth number 19. So one appointment endodontic treatment works. And this is another example. I've posted hundreds of these examples. And sealer extrusion or maybe you can call this gutta percha extrusion maybe sealer extrusion gutta percha extrusion it's not they're not intentional but if it happens and i get usually get sealer puffs because of the fact that i use warm vertical obturation you get sealer puffs that's fine sealer puffs don't cause endodontic failure and endodontic treatment of such teeth with necrotic pulp and periperical lucencies, as you can see, those are still successful, has the same success rate as multiple appointments. And some studies have shown that one appointment root canals in situations like that have actually higher success rate than multiple appointment um, root canals. All right, so year and a half post-op of tooth number 30. And this is another angulation of the tooth today. So again, you can see the large periperical lucency associated with the mesial roots and the periperical lucency that was associated with the distal root has they've they've healed completely. And again, here's the date. All right. So one year and a half, year and a half almost post-op of tooth number 19. One appointment, root canal works, has the same success rate as multiple. Some studies show even higher success rate and sealer extrusion or gutta percha extrusion, what have you, do not cause endodontic failure. And here's another example. And I've posted hundreds of these examples. Tooth is in full function, asymptomatic, patient's happy.